Hello, everyone. I'm going to show you how to develop an action plan based on the action research findings. Action research is all about identifying the problem of practice, conducting research to come up with a solution and developing an action plan to help address the problem that you have identified. Imagine you have already conducted the research, you have your findings, and you're about to develop an action plan. How are you going to go about it? There's a good news here. A new AI tool called ChatGPT can be used to help you to think about specific action that you can take based on the findings. Let me show you how to do it. Let me give you a little background information. I think that will help you to understand how to use this AI tool perfectly. You have your themes here. You did action research and then you analyze your qualitative data and you came up with this theme addressing this research question. So the research question is, what are the causes of burnout among primary healthcare physicians? And these are the themes that we came up with. Having high workload, being new to the profession, putting in extra effort, having less time for family. So based on this theme, how can you come up with action plan? This tool can be used to, you know, start thinking about specific action that you could take as a researcher based on this findings, right? Let me show you. What you're going to do is that you're going to give a prompt, right? So it's just like asking the system a question and then based on the question, they will give you an answer that will help you to think about the action plan, right? So it's all about, you know, giving a very good prompt. And I'm going to show you the best way to give a very good prompt to the system so that you can get a very satisfactory result that will help you to start thinking about your action plan. This is the prompt that I've come up with. And I'm going to you know, show you how I came up with this prompt, right? So when you are coming up with a prompt, there are three things that you have to think about. Think about RCC. R stands for role. You have to assign a role to the AI system. I'm going to explain how to do that. And then the C stands for providing a contest, right? Giving the system a contest so that the system will work within the contest. It's like we are giving the system a boundary, right? Delimiting the request so that you can get a very good result. And then you go ahead and give a command. So Always think about RCC when you are writing a prompt. Assign a role to the system. And also, you have to think about a contest and think about a command that you will have to provide. So in terms of assigning a role, I said, as a qualitative researcher conducting action research. So now I've given a scenario, I've assigned a role to the system so that Everything that will be provided will be based on the role that you have given. So the second one is to provide a contest. So you can see here that you have developed themes addressing the research question. What are the causes of burnout among primary healthcare physicians? Here are the themes. Having high workload, being new to the profession, putting in extra effort and having less time for family. So you can see here that I've provided a contest. Then you have to provide a command, asking a question or telling the system what it should do. So as you can see here, can you provide an action plan to address the above causes of burnout? So these are the information that you have to provide so that you'll be able to get rich information from the system. And now that we have our prompt, I'll copy my prompt here. And then I go to chat GPT and paste that prompt there. Let's see the results. So let's go to chat GPT. So I have my prompt here and I click on enter and let's see what will come. So, so you can see that it's providing some points to you based on the themes that you have. Now the system is providing an action plan, reduce workload. You have to provide support 
for new physicians. You have to encourage work-life balance. You have to provide training in stress management and self-care. You have to monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of the plan. You have to encourage open communication. So you can see here that based on the themes that you have developed or based on your findings, the AI chatbot has provided you an idea about the action that you could take. I always say that you don't have to take all these actions and implement, but this one is like talking to somebody and getting ideas. So you are talking to the machine or you are talking to AI and getting ideas and then use these ideas. So this one can be very useful when you are conducting action research. It can be also useful when you are thinking about conducting program evaluation. And then, you know, in program evaluation, when you have your findings and you want to develop a practical action that you have to take to improve the program, you can use the system to get ideas and then work on those ideas and develop very good action. I hope this one was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to address them for you. Thank you for your time.